Learn how to build an AI agent that automatically researches viral trending ads in your niche. Then it goes ahead and generates a script using uh, Anthropic's latest model, which is their Claude Opus 4. After that, we use a really cool software called Arcads, which creates hyper-realistic AI or UGC videos, which is user-generated content. It then takes that video and it publishes it onto social media, specifically onto Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Threads, Blue Sky, Pinterest, and LinkedIn all at once using this super handy tool called Blotato, where they provide an API where you can automatically upload your video to all of these social media platforms. This system runs on autopilot. All you need to do is connect this scheduled trigger node just like that, and that's all you need to do. And then it'll automatically trigger uh, every single day at 9 a.m. It automatically posted to my Twitter, my Facebook, my YouTube, and you can see how realistic this is. You know Stupid that hard. panic when a client asks about something they mentioned weeks ago? How cool is that, right? Let me just show you this example just here because... inside of Arcads. Check how realistic Ever this miss is. important Slack messages because you're drowning in notifications? I was losing deals left and right. Someone in Futurize showed me this insane setup with DeepSeek API costs. So they have a dashboard over here where you can come and like simply type in the script and then you can click add actors. You just choose the actor that you like and you can hey preview you. them. Check welcome it out. Welcome to Arcads. I'm one of the natural. Hey you, welcome to Arcads. I'm one of the natural AI actors you can use for your. Hey you, welcome to Arcads. I'm one of the natural AI actors you can use for your. And then you can even filter on the left here by like gender, age, if you want only the pro templates so that they're the most realistic ones, you can choose a situation like, I don't know, maybe someone at the gym. Okay, in this case, I'd probably have to uncheck some of these and then we can go to gym. So you can niche it down to exactly what your business is about, but we're going to be actually using their API. So you don't need to worry about setting up any of those APIs. I've done it all for you. All you need to do is come to this input node and change these fields here where you need to enter your Arcads API key and an Arcads folder ID. And then after that, when we get into the Blotato setup, you just need to enter your Blotato API key and all of your IDs for your social medias. All you need to do to set this up is upload the template and then change the values. I've uploaded it into my Futurize community. You just go to futurize.com and then click on templates. Uh, it'll be this one over here, UGC ads video automation. You can just click download on that. Cool, it's downloaded. Then you can come to N8N. You can click create workflow, click these three dots, import from file, select that and in a few seconds it should there you go we also use Airtable, which records a database or we can call it memories of all of the previous scripts so that the ai knows what the previous content was so it knows not to create new content based on that i also instructed in the prompt not to reuse any of the previous scripts so it scrapes it from Airtable in this node and then it adds the newest script into this node I'm just going to click this drop down, choose manual trigger and run that. Okay. And while this is running, I'm going to be showing you how to, or where to get all the values that you need to input into all these fields. All right. So starting off with the Arcads API key, you want to go to arcads.ai and then you can sign up or log in. It will take you to the Arcads dashboard after you've subscribed. It is a paid software. At the end of this video, I'll get into the pricing on how much all of this costs. So you can click on settings, public API, click create new credential. Let me click confirm. I'll generate a new one. And then here it is. You want to copy that and then come back here and then paste it in over there. Then the Arcads folder ID in Arcads, you want to come here and create a folder. So like you can see, I created a folder called folder for API. You can create a new one. You can rename it to whatever, like my UGC ads. And then the folder ID you can get from the URL. So you can just copy everything after the forward slash and then come back into here and then paste in the folder ID over there. All right, I'm going to leave mine as is, but that's where you would put it. Then the Blotator API key, you would go to blotato.com. You'd sign up. After you sign up, you go to settings. You do need to be on the paid plan to use Blotato. It's $29 a month. 
Um, and that's actually super affordable compared to the other softwares that automatically post to social media. They make it super simple, right? All you need to do is you need to sign in. So like within your browser, just go and sign into Facebook and TikTok and Instagram or whichever social medias you want to connect. And then once you've signed in, come here and click on this one of these buttons, like connect with Twitter, right? And then uh, it'll prompt you to come and provide permissions. Once you've provided permissions, it will then have your connected accounts at the bottom over here. And this is where you get all of your account IDs. So you're going to need to do that each time for each social media, just click and provide the necessary permissions. So for example, let's say we wanted to connect YouTube, all right, we'll click copy account ID. And then within here, we would go to our YouTube ID. There it is. And we would paste it in over there. So you can see mine's already populated. You can just replace all of mine uh, with your IDs. And you would just repeat that for all of them. The only exceptions are Facebook. If you're not posting it directly to your personal accounts, you can also provide the page. So that's what I did. I have my futurized page. So you can copy both your account ID and your page ID and then copy them both into here. The one would go into the Facebook account ID and the other one, the page ID over there. Obviously, because I was busy changing stuff, the automation broke. It's probably not good practice to change things while you're busy running it. It's because I changed the API key. So that's why it broke over here on the Arcads node, but that's fine. I will rerun it a bit later. To get the actual Blotator API key, you would come here and you click a button to generate it. I've already generated it, so I can just click copy API key and I can paste that into our Blotator API key field over there. So that's all the stuff for our input data. The other thing we need to then configure is our Anthropic API key, all right? And you can get that from console dot anthropic.com forward slash settings forward slash keys all right you may need to provide some billing credits in order to actually use the api key so i just uploaded five dollars so you can go to billing and you can buy like five dollars as a minimum then api keys click create you can choose a workspace i chose my nhn one you can just use the default one and just give it a name i named my one which one is it script researcher writer and then there's my API key. All right, remember to keep your API key a secret. You don't want to share these with anyone. And then once you've got that API key, when you come here to connect your Anthropic model, you click create new credential and paste your API key over there, click save, and it'll then be connected. Then the specific model you want to choose, you want to choose this dropdown and choose Claude Opus 4. All right, it is the most expensive model and it's the best one for both agentic research as well as creative writing. As you can see, that's what they have here on their website. And it is really the best, especially for creative writing. I prefer O3 when it comes to problem solving, but I prefer Claude Opus 4 when it comes to actual writing. The quality of the writing just sounds more human written than with OpenAI. Then the last thing you want to edit is you want to open up this AI agent over here and you want to come and edit this prompt over here. This was customized to my use case to create UGC access talking about specific automations or problems that they solved using AI or automation, but you would then come here and just tweak all of this to be more relevant so that the script fits what you want your AI access to speak about. All right, but you can follow that same structure because it works quite nicely. The next thing you need to do is make sure you have an Airtable account. You could also use Google Sheets for this, but I'm using Airtable. I just like Airtable. It's very reliable and robust. And they have a lot of cool features for Airtable. You can just come and click on start from scratch to create a new table. All right. You can give it a name like, I don't know, my memories. So here's all the fields you want to copy. So it's script, caption, description, final video, created date, Instagram post ID, TikTok post ID, Facebook post ID, YouTube post ID, Twitter post ID, LinkedIn, Threads, Blue Sky, and Pinterest. All right, and all of these are of type, if I double click on here, a single line text, and this one is of type created time. All right, so that's the only difference. So when you're creating it, let me just show you. Let's say I'm creating the one called caption. I go single line text, type in caption, and click create field. 
Right. And then the date one would be, you can search dates or actually would search time, create a time, and then we'd call it dates, time, or whatever you want to call it. Make sure to copy the exact names I used, all right, because it's all configured based on the names used in this sheet over here. Okay. Once that's done, you can come here and just connect this to automatically schedule it on the trigger. And this will run every day at nine o'clock at a random minute. So sometimes it might be nine, 10 past nine. Other times it might be 52 past nine. Other times it might be 39 past nine, etc. All right. So I just did that just in case the social media platforms get suspicious that the video is getting posted at the same time every day. This way, it seems more likely that it's posted by human. Uh, there's no research that shows that scheduled social media posts actually harms your engagement or the views that you get on it. At the end of the day, it's about the quality of the content that you're uploading. That's all these social media platforms care about. So you don't need to worry about the fact that it's AI generated or the fact that you using an API to automatically post because all these social media platforms work the same way. They just want your content to be of high quality and they determine that based on stuff like how many people are clicking on the videos or how many people are watching it and how much of the video are they watching metrics like that watch time click through rates run this just so that you can see this working in real time so i'll click run and we'll wait for this to run to the end while this runs i'm just going to talk to you about the pricing a little bit so the way i built this is i wasn't trying to optimize for the cheapest way to build this automation i was actually trying to optimize for the most accurate and most reliable possible automation. And I did that by using Claude Opus 4, all right? So we know that the research that it's doing and the script writing is of super high quality. The cost for that will be less than $1 a month. So per request like this that it's running, it'll probably cost about six US cents, all right? Then the second part was Arcad's API. So they have two plans, the ones around a hundred and something dollars and the other ones around 200 and something dollars but you might hear that and might think that's a lot, all right? That's 200 and something dollars a month, but it works out when you break it down to about $7 per video. And that is extremely affordable, especially if you consider the fact that if you hired a human spokesperson or an actor to record a one to two minute script, they're gonna be charging you anywhere like on Fiverr where it's like the cheapest you'll find for a really bad quality spokesperson, they'll charge around $20. And if you want someone that's actually really good, it's going to cost you around $100. Whereas when you're using Arcads, you can trust that all the AI actors are of super high quality, especially if you go ahead and add some editing afterwards, like some subtitles and B-roll. It just like, there's no ways you would ever think that this thing's AI generated. Like, let me show you this example. Avoid these two mistakes if you have an Android phone. Number one is getting too many useless emails. Number two is not being protected against spam. They are ruining your storage and productivity. Instead, try this app for free. CleanFox will block useless emails and stop spam. You can always go to archives and use their studio and then do some post-production editing on those videos after you generate it yourself. So to generate it manually, you just come here, you'd write your script, choose your actor, and after you choose your actor, and then you click generate video, um, and it'll show you how many credits it's going to use and how many credits you have left. So with 30 credits, uh, that's one video per credit. You can upload 30 videos per month. And then the last thing is Blotato. Their pricing, I think they've got a few options. So they have their starter plan, $29. That's the plan I'm on, which allows you to use their API. Then they have their creator plan for $97 for more volume. Um, and I should also mention that Blotato is not just an API for uploading to social media. It's actually like a really cool software. What I personally use Blotato for is the API, but what most people are using it for is for remixing content. So remix any YouTube or article into 10 posts for LinkedIn, TikTok, X, Facebook, Instagram threads, or Pinterest. So basically what you do there is you upload like one piece of content you created and it remixes it, it uses AI to like generate a blog article, to generate a LinkedIn post or whatever the case is. And then it goes and posts it. I actually have an example here. So I uploaded one of my YouTube videos and it created this tweet, this Instagram post, this LinkedIn post, and then you can go and add media and you can choose any other other social media platforms over there. And what's cool about this is it requires no effort from you, no time investments. You literally just come here, connect this schedule node Make sure you click this toggle from inactive to active 
and then your automation will be 100% set up. All you need to do is literally nothing and this automation will take care of generating content and specifically user generated content ads for your company. And you can go ahead and then boost those ads, whether you want to boost it on TikTok or Facebook or whatever the case is. Also, one last thing I wanted to show you is there's something called TikTok ads library. So what you can do with TikTok ads library is you can search a region. So like let's say United States, and then you can choose an industry like electronics and the objective is traffic to your website and the ad format spark ads is basically like your native TikTok content that you post and then you boost that post and then non spark ads is just like an ad that you upload to run. So let's go with spark ads because that's what ours would be. And then you can see some examples and you can even see like the click through rate was in the top 73 percentile on TikTok. This post got 22 likes, this one got 440. So this one's clearly the better one. So you can check this out for inspiration for an ad. And if you're looking for more UGC style content, you know, you might need to reduce these filters, but here you can see some UGC ads like. I'm going to show you how easy this UGC is here, like I did here. But anyway, that's just a nice place to get inspiration for ads when you are building out your script over here, as well as if you want to few shot prompt, you can manually write some example scripts that you would like the AI to kind of get inspiration from. But let's go see how our automation is doing over here. It looks like it's nearly done. It's busy uploading to Blotato and now it's uploading to Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Okay, now let's go to say TikTok to refresh this page and see for the latest video. There it is, let's check it out. That moment when your boss asks for documentation, I used to spend weekends writing SOPs. If you want to check out the rest of this video or any other other videos, I will include the links to all my social media in the description of this video and you can go check out all these AI generated videos that it's been posting. And yeah, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please do subscribe to the channel, like this video. And yeah, if you want to see another video where I created a fully automated system where it generates content like this over here with subtitles and background stock footage, I also have a video of that showing on the screen right now. So you can check out that video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.